Hello and welcome to the Fantasia shawl tutorial. I'm very excited. It is the first pattern uh, or crochet pattern, pattern that I made from scratch and I hope you will like making it as much as I did. If you have any questions, uh, don't hesitate to write them in the comment section or send me an email to cats.eyecatchers at gmail.com. You can use this pattern, you can sell the finished product and you can post it on social medias, but please mention me, Cat's Eye Catcher, or use the hashtag Cat's Fantasia Shawl. Well, so then, without any further ado, let's get started. Let's get to it. Okay, so you need your yarn, your hook, and at least two st stitch markers um, maybe you would you like to use three but um, two is fine and you can use about any yarn you would like and the amount of colors you like um, just make sure that your, your yarn has drape to it I am using Alara from Ice Yarns this is a cotton acrylic a 50-50 blend it is super soft and it has a nice uh, drape already. Um, this uh, yarn, there you go, here are the specs. So this yarn uh, calls for a four millimeter needle and the rule of thumb is that um, you go one millimeter up to know the hook size. Normally I only go 0.5 millimeter up, but because I want a nice drape to it, um, I'm using a five millimeter hook. So here we go. Start with chaining a 45 chains. Now, normally I like chainless foundations, but this doesn't work with a chainless foundation. I tried it. So 45 um chains this pattern is not specifically beginner friendly it is um challenging for beginners so i am assuming that you know the basic stitches um however if you do, do need uh, help with the stitches. I'll put some links to the basic techniques in the description box below. Okay, so I have my 45 uh, chains. Um, if you want to make it longer, um, this should always be a multiple of five, but Keep in mind that if you add to your base, you're also going to make it, your, your triangles, you're going to make them wider. Okay, so we're going to start with one extra chain and in the first or in the last chain so not the one next to your hook but the one next to it you're gonna make a half double crochet and you're gonna half double crochet all the way up to the last 15 stitches and this is where already the stitch markers come in handy the easiest thing to do is to count them in advance. Place your stitch marker. 
and this way you don't have to worry or you don't have to count while you're working. Um, the stitch markers are your friends if you don't like counting. So we started with 45 chains, we're skipping the last 15, which means you need to do 30 half double crochets. You can stitch in your or work in your chain any which way you like, you are used to. Um, I know some people only go through the back loop. Um, I actually, I always go into this one here. So I am sure that I have two um, threads on my hook. And I think it gives a nice edge. But like I said, I usually prefer the chainless foundation, but here it does not work. I know I have a very odd way of holding my hook and my yarn I don't know if I'm a pencil holder or not, definitely not a knifer, I cannot pull the knife grip off. Almost at the stitch marker. remove the stitch marker and now we're going to do 15 single crochets so no wrapping around but just straight into the chain pull through pull through and here we are at the end of the row to turn on the side with the single crochets is going to be different than the turn on the side of the half double crochets. For the single crochet side, it's very easy. Just chain one and turn your work. Now, we are going to do five single crochets. Your turning chain counts as one so you're not going into this hole but in the next one so that would make two three four and five place a stitch marker My hook's in the way. Okay, place a stitch marker. Now, make 10 half double crochets. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, 
eight, nine, and ten. Now, if you did it right, this should also be your first single crochet from the bottom. Again, place a stitch marker now. We And now just half double crochet all the way to the end. Okay, I'm almost at the end. Now, um, we're not going to put a border on the sides. So a chain gap would be very, very ugly here. That's why I'm using the technique where you kind of fill it up uh, at the end with a single crochet. Okay, so now my last stitch. And there we go. To do that, turn your work and make sure that your working thread is behind your work. And instead of doing a two chain, two chains to um, make for the height of the half double crochet, we're going to go straight into the first stitch, make a single crochet, and immediately in the same stitch, make a half double crochet. This may seem like a lot, but you'll see it will make for a nice and straight edge. So now we're um, row three and I'm going to put this down just to make it a little bit easier. Okay. Now this part all the way to the first stitch marker. We're going to half a double crochet. This bit between the two stitch markers are going to be single crochets. Okay. I'm going to go all the way to my stitch marker with my half double crochets. And you can pause the video and I will see you there. Okay, so I'm almost at my stitch marker here. Just two more to go. And you stop just right before. Now, if you want to make sure, like me, I like to count in between so that I don't have to frog it back all the way um, afterwards because I know there's a mistake. This should be a multiple of five always. See, and I'm correct. This is 30. Okay, so now remove the stitch marker. I like these st stitch markers. To open them, you just have to push this up and it has a good spring in it. And to close it, just click it back in. They're earrings, really. These lever backs all are earrings, but eh, it's handy. So remove your stitch marker. And like I said, all these, these 10 stitches remaining are single crochets. It's an easy repeat. But you have to keep your mind to it. And the stitch markers really, really help out if you don't want to be determining the what stitch did I make here? Where is this? Where is that? No, no counting. Just there you go. Use the stitch markers. 
every row is going to be five stitches shorter. So that's why we stop here. Again, we turn. Turning on the uh, single crochet side is just chain one and turn. And this is one. Okay, so um, let me show again. This is one. You don't go into this stitch, but the second one, because this is your first one. So this is one, two, three, four, and five. And yeah, you can remove this one. Place your stitch marker. Doing this on camera is fiddly. <laughs> okay. Again, the next 10 uh, stitches are, well, actually all the, 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 the stitches all that are left over are half double crochets, but we're gonna count the first 10 stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine and ten, and in the number ten, you place your marker. And half double crochet all the way down the road again. I'll see you at the end. So we're at the end again and we're gonna turn. Oh yeah, this I wanted to show also. The good or easy thing about turning with the single crochet is that you have a full stitch. To hook in and you don't have to be fiddling with going into a chain. Um, it's prettier and it's easier. There you go. Turn your work. Make sure that your working thread is behind your work. Go into your first stitch. Make a single crochet and make that single crochet pretty tight and then just double crochet into the same stitch and we go back all the way up the row until we reached the first stitch marker now I am gonna um, do a few more repeats but if you think you have the hang of it already um, there are timestamps in the description box, so you can go to the next step if you don't need to see the repeat of each row. Okay, I'm gonna do this and you can hit pause and I will see you at the stitch marker. Okay, we just did 25 stitches now, we reached the stitch marker remove and single crochet the next 10 stitch to the other stitch marker And we're still on the right track. 
turn, chain one, turn your work, and single crochet the next four, because this is number one. You don't go in this one, you go in this one. That's two, three, oops, four, and five. You can choose to remove your stitch markers uh, as you turn or after. Okay, place Place your stitch marker and 10 half double crochets. like to check one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten and stitch mark and back to the end with half double crochets you can pause here and we'll I'll see you at the end last stitch and again we're gonna turn just make sure your working thread is behind your uh, work a tight single crochet and your half double crochet all in your first stitch and can you see how this makes for a very nice and straight edge? Okay, again, go down the road, go down the row or the road, that's fine. Half double crocheting until you reach the marker, then again, ha uh, single crochets from marker to marker. Um, this is the repeat really when we go to the point because this is going to become the point of the triangle you do 10 single crochets in the row when you turn and you go back to the large si large side you only do five single crochets that's how we get the triangle shape by squeezing the single crochets between the half double crochets okay i am at my stitch marker one more stitch okay remove the marker and single crochet to the next okay I reached the end of the single crochet row turning chain one skip this one and four single crochets so this is one two three four and five Place your marker and half double crochet ten.
six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Place your marker. And finish the row with half double crochets. And the fun thing about this pattern is that the rows get shorter and shorter and faster and faster. And before you know it, you're at the end of your triangle. And the last one. And there we go. And turn. Tight single crochet and half double crochet. And we're off again, up to the marker. We're at the marker. Remove. And single crochet to the next. Oops. Okay, we're at the marker. Chain one turn and single crochet four plus the turning chain plus four yep. come back you place the marker Half double crochet ten. I wasn't counting. I need to count. Ah, see, made one extra. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Place the marker. And finish the row. And again, the last one. And turn. Tight single crochet. Half double crochet in the first. And half double crochet all the way down the road. Oops, I think I only got, I only had the front loop there. That's a different technique. Now we are nearing the end of our triangle. I only have 10 left here. Okay. Okay, we're at the marker. Remove the marker. Single crochet to the next marker.
turn. Ah, chain one and turn. And one, two, three, four. Stitch marker. And 10 half double crochets. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Place the marker, and now we should have five left. Oopsie. Okay. Now we should have five left. That's one, two. Three, four, and five. Turn, single crochet, half double crochet in the first stitch. And now we go, even if it's very close, we still go half double crochet up to the marker. Remove the marker and single crochet to the next one. Remove the marker Chain one and turn So that's one Two Three Four and five And place the marker now, there are only 10 stitches left. So we do the whole way we do the um, half double crochets. And this is where it may seem a little confusing. but it's not really. I'll explain it in a second. So how do you like your straight edges without the, um, without the chain gaps? Neat, eh? So let's see what we know. We know that we always have to do 10 single crochets between the two markers. Now, actually your marker would be here, the first one. So we're not gonna do any half double crochets now. We're just gonna do single crochets all the way. And 
here we're just gonna basically do a, the same as we did with the half double crochets except that we do the first single crochet tightly and then you're starting single crochet and then you go single crochet all the way to the marker So this is our number 10 and then we turn remove the marker and again we have our five single crochets so turning chain is one that's two that's three that's four and that's five place the marker and we know that after our single crochets we have to do half double crochets so we finish the row with five half double crochets and then we're gonna turn again again between the two stitch markers it's single crochet our stitch marker now is somewhere around here all the way at the end so just five single crochets again a tight single crochet for the turning and the first one that's two three four and five and we reached the stitch marker and the last row is turning turning chain and just single crochet all the way to the end we skip this one because that's your turning chain is one two three four and five this is our first triangle okay so the next step is the lace work and here we're going to use double crochets and chain ones to start the lace row we turn the same way so single single crochet and the first stitch is a double crochet yarn over pull through pull through two pull through two that's oops sorry that's the first one chain one skip one double crochet in the next skip one now this corner is the next place where we have to stitch in and we're gonna not go in the stitch but in the the um, the space here and we're also not gonna do a double crochet but a single crochet in the corners or in the tips or in the turning chains here so single crochet chain one and not this but this is your first next uh, stitch and here you're gonna do a double crochet chain one skip one 
double crochet in the middle stitch chain one again we reached one of the turning points single crochet in that space chain one double crochet in the first next stitch chain one skip one double crochet in the middle stitch chain one we're at the turning here again so single crochet in the hole chain one double crochet in the first next stitch chain one skip one double crochet in the middle stitch chain one again the turning corner here single crochet in and the gap chain one double crochet in the first stitch chain one double skip one double crochet in the middle one chain one single crochet in the turning corner here chain one double crochet in the first stitch chain one skip one double crochet in the middle stitch chain one single crochet in the corner chain one double crochet in the first stitch We're almost there chain one double crochet in the middle stitch so you skip one chain one single crochet in the corner and then uh, chain one yes double crochet in the first stitch skip one double crochet in the middle chain one skip one single crochet in the corner chain one is a little bit different is not double crochet in the next one it's half double crochet in the next one chain one skip one half double crochet in the next one chain one and single crochet in the last step there you go now you can cut you can cut your thread and pull it through and we are gonna do the next color now if i can give you solid advice work in your tails as you change colors so new color slip knot slip knot put it on your hook and let me just show you we have stitches and we have gaps you attach your hook in the first stitch attach your new thread with a single crochet and take your tail along with you
like we did earlier this is this doesn't count we make a single crochet in the first stitch and basically what we're gonna do now is just make a row of single crochets one in every stitch one in every gap so in the gap and work over your tail while doing this this is the next stitch as i worked in my treads it's it it's, makes it a little bit harder as i weave them in but that's okay gap one stitch stitch where is my stitch one stitch gap one stitch and the stitch and pull on that pull on that tail so that it's it lays flat and gap stitch gap stitch you can cut these off okay gap stitch and you go all the way to the other end putting one single crochet in each stitch and one in each gap okay so i'm almost at the end and now we are gonna finish up here and this is the last one okay now you make 10 chains don't make them too tight two three four five six seven eight nine ten if it's easier you can make it with a, a larger size hook but as we don't have that many of them, um, I just did it with the same hook. Now make sure that your chain is not uh, twisted. Chain one and half double crochet in your first chain. And all the way down your chain row you should have 10 half double crochets now if you made a mistake somewhere in your chain you can um, you know you can uh, fudge it a little bit and add uh, an extra one but it's important that you have 10 half double crochets Okay, I double counted because I thought I missed one. So this should be 10. And then we are going to make sure that we have our 45 stitches again. And if you remember, it was 30 half double crochets and 15 single crochets. So we have 10. Now we have to do 20 more half double crochets. This is a little bit of counting i'm sorry that's one two we just go into the single crochets three four five six Seven, 
eight, nine, ten. And I'm just going to use a stitch counter here to keep track so I don't have to recount if I get distracted or something. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And fifteen half, um, not half, fifteen single crochets now. One, two, oops, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five. That's fifteen. Normally, what you have left here should be fifteen. It is, in my case. But it's always possible that, um, you know, you missed a stitch or, or you did one too many. But that's really not that important. One or two stitches is not going to make the difference. But that's why I make sure that when I start this new one, I make sure that this is 45. It really doesn't matter all that much how many these are. But this has to be exactly the same as this. So now we are gonna start again. We're gonna do exactly the same as we did with this first one. So just for visibility I'm gonna um, attach a stitch marker here but you don't have to do that. This one is doesn't have any purpose. So we're gonna start by chaining one. And again, we skip this one, single crochet. This is two, three, four, and five. And here we do place a marker. And 10 half double crochets. One. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Place the marker. And continue the half double crochets all the way to the end. Okay, so we're at the end again. Last, last stitch um, is unfortunately in the chain. And here we go. 
Now you just continue doing what you did with the first triangle. So you turn, half double crochet to the first uh, marker, single crochet between the two markers, turn, five single crochet or four and a turning chain, 10 half double crochets, half double crochet all to the end, and you just continue all the way until you have made the next triangle. And I will meet you there um, so I can show you how to proceed with the lace row. Have fun, see you later. I have done my lace row and now I just did my last single crochet here. And again, chain one. And just like we did here, we're not gonna do the double crochets along the this part, but we're gonna do half double crochets. So the first one. Skip one and half double crochet. Chain one, skip one, and half double crochet. All along the, until you reach the end. And also here, again, we are gonna um, end with a single crochet one not with a half double crochet so half double crochet i have jd purring on my lap she's making it a little bit harder for me to a crochet because i'm sitting a little bit farther away from the table okay this is my last Half double, and then here, last chain, and then skip one and single crochet in the last stitch. And now we have this little thingy here. Uh, we're just gonna single crochet in this as well. It is just to make sure that we have a straight straight edge there is gonna be stitches coming along this row later on i am ready to cut this thread and start with the new color and that goes exactly the same way as how we did this but always start on this end, go all the way, add 10, and then make sure that you do 45 stitches. And this distance is always going to get larger and larger as we progress. You can do as many triangles as you would like. Uh, I'm going to do 12 because I think it's a nice number, um, but you can make it different depending on the number of colors you have or if you do it with a smaller yarn, a thinner yarn, you can uh, do a little bit more if you use a thicker yarn, a little less, just, you know, you can totally, totally wing this. Okay, this is the end of the first part. And I will see you when I've done my 12 triangles to do the finishing of the shawl. I hope you will enjoy it, enjoy it as much as I do. And I see you in a bit. This is my last triangle. I have made 12 and the scarf is, or the shawl is one meter 70 long. And this, is how the beginning looks like. This was the first triangle and you have all these color stripes stacked. Now, if you want, you can leave 
um, it as it is, I would just finish off with one row of single crochets um, just to make this nice and even. But now I am going to add one row of single crochets of each color to this uh, length, to the whole length of the scarf. I haven't cut my yarn yet, so I'm just going to turn. And here I'm going to do a, a chain to turn. And go into every um, stitch like we did basically for the rest of the shawl. The same thing we did. So one in the space, one in the stitch, one in the space, one in the stitch. Just the same thing we did uh, before when starting a new color. But this time you do it with the same color. I'm gonna go ahead and do the whole row and I will see you there. I have reached the end of the row and I'm gonna finish off with a single crochet and a slip stitch. Chain one and then cut off the thread, the, the yarn and weave it in already so you can work over it and you don't have ends to worry about when you're done with the crochet part. Okay, I'm going to do this off camera. Okay, now you take the next color, which is in my case is the dark or the, the regular um, orchid. We're going to go backwards actually. So I'm going to do this, 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 and then this color. If you use more colors, you're going to have more rows. I'm only going to do the four colors here. And again, attach the, the yarn with a slip stitch. Sorry about the dogs. They heard a bird. Okay. Um, slip stitch. Hold your tail to your work and single crochet in the firsts. And just make sure that it's tight enough. Okay, so now just go single crochet all, all the way down to this row, attach the new collar and single crochet up again, attach the new collar, single crochet down again, until you've done a row of every color that you've used. Um, now, why am I not... Um, starting and ending all on the same side of the work well we have made this working up and down not all in the same direction and it gives a certain texture to your work if you were to put all your single crochets in the same direction you would have like the back side look on one side and if you switch sides if you turn um, you're gonna have a neater work. Okay, so let's just do these few last rounds and I will see you when I'm done with my last color of yarn. So now I'm at the end of the row and I would like to neaten this up a little bit. So I'm gonna just chain one single crochet in the same stitch and then single crochet in each hole on the side of my work. I'm gonna not do it too tightly. By the way, how do you like the border? 
or the end of this thing looks great right um by using um a single crochet stitch which is a little bit smaller it will make the uh, scarf or the shawl fan out a little bit more uh, oops oh, did i do that already okay so um and each hole a single crochet Sometimes you have to make the hole a little bit bigger. Now it's not a coincidence that the last color is the same as the first one I used. If you should use a different amount of colors, um, just make sure that the, the first and the last color are the same. So skip a few or do an extra row. go through this one here because I don't like going in only one um, thread or there we go and here is the last one and what I'm gonna go do now is I'm gonna slip stitch all the way back on the other side. Okay, so slip stitch all the way to the corner. And as a slip stitch lays itself in front of the work, you're gonna have a nice edge. Now I've reached the corner, just slip stitch in that one, oops. I mean single crochet in that one. And slip stitch all the way down. The length of the shawl and this again is a smaller stitch and is gonna give a little more curve to the length of the shawl and make the the shape more fan shaped it's gonna make it fan out more because I mean it is the fan Tasia shawl it needs to fan Well, here I am at the end of the shawl. Just one more slip stitch. And there we go. A chain one. Snippity snip. Pull the yarn through. And here we go. I have only one tail to work in which is awesome i hope you enjoyed this tutorial um if you like my video 
please give it a thumbs up and as always if uh, you think you know people that might enjoy this too feel free to share i can't wait to see what you guys make with this pattern um please um feel free to tag me um at cats eye catchers on any social media or um you can find all the hashtags and uh, links to my social media in the link below thank you for watching and i will see you next time bye